This is StoryBase, a powerful SEO tool. And the way that I tested it was trying to find questions on Google, which wasn't answered already, which I could then write an article about. So let's dive in and find out. If you've been following along on the channel, then you know I have tested a lot of SEO tools and I see SEO tools surface almost every week. It is a huge market and I think there's still room for more SEO tools. And the way that StoryBase fit in is in the top because in the top we have SEMrush and we have Ahrefs. And the reason why they are in the top is not only because of their high price, it is because of their data sets. They have so much data. And I think StoryBase is very well on the way because when we search questions in their keyword explorer, we get so many great results back with the amount of searches done every month on these specific questions, which of course is estimates. One thing though I'm missing in this Keyword Explorer tool is some type of keyword difficulty because Ahrefs and Semrush are very good at giving me these keyword difficulty because the lower keyword difficulty, the higher our chances are for ranking. And when we find all of these different questions, I would like to know that. But the way that I do is that I take these specific questions that I find in the Keyword Explorer and then I simply just Google it myself to see what type of websites are ranking on these questions. And if I see high authority websites ranking on the questions, then I simply just skip them. But I think if StoryBase could help me with this automated showing me a keyword difficulty, it would speed up my work a lot. But when you have found those questions you want to answer and you've written your article, then after some time, you will start to receive data in Google Search Console if you have set it up. And then you can go in and use the missing keyword tool in StoryBase. And what is cool about this is that it pulls in all the keywords that your article is ranking for, which are not part of your content, your article. This is pulled from Google Search Console, so we can see the same information in Google Search Console, but we still have to manually figure out whether these specific keywords that people are searching for are part of our article. This part StoryBase is doing for us completely automatically. Just be aware that if your article is fairly new, then there won't be a lot of data in there. But the more data and the more time that goes by, the more data you will see on your articles and the more data we'll be able to optimize. Because if you see a lot of these keywords, a lot of these different questions that people are asking make sense for your article, then you should definitely incorporate them in your article. And this is the way you optimize it to rank for more keywords and just get more traffic. Another way you can optimize your article is with the CTR tool. Because the CTR tool, you simply enter your URL and then StoryBabes pull in the headline, the description, and then tells you what you can do to improve. Maybe you're scoring 100 out of 100, then it's perfect. But here they're telling you to use something like a power word. You need to maintain your width of the text. You need to maintain your character limit. And they're checking on some different multiple parameters and also showing you how much it means to fulfill these specific parameters. It's a cool, neat little tool. It's not super relevant for you to rank higher because Google is smart enough to take your specific sections and use as these Google search results. But it could be a great way to just optimize your article a little bit more. And these tools with the CTR tool and the missing keywords, they're great for optimizing your article. But another tool is internal link building. This is something we often forget but it's super crucial to rank higher because it distributes the traffic around on your website. And here StoryBase also have a tool for this. It is simply internal linking. And what you do is you enter your URL, your topic, not your keyword, but your topic, which I really like. And then it will show you relevant articles that you can link in between. And the way I think it works, because there's not so much information about it, but the way I think it works is that it takes a specific topic you're writing and then it looks for similar topics in all of your articles. Again, these articles are pulled from Google Search Console. So overall, if you want the full benefit of using StoryBase, then you need to integrate with your Google Search Console. They do also have a module called Outbound Links and 
I think it's limited how much you can use this for. Of course, if you want to really link away from your website, which can make sense sometimes, then you can use this tool to figure out what type of website has written about the same topic as you're doing right now. You can do the same by simply Googling. So this specific tool, I think, is not super relevant for optimizing your article. Often we want to stay within our own website, but sometimes if we're talking about statistics or reports, we have to link outside, but then we can't necessarily use this tool to find those links. But when you're writing articles and you have done all of your optimization and you think now it's going pretty well, then you want to start looking at your competition or maybe also before you start writing. And they do also have a competitor analysis module, but this is very limited. So the way it works is that you enter a specific website. It can either be your own website or a competitor you already know. And then Storybase will start to search on Google for you on these specific topics which are relevant for the website you entered and then find similar websites. So it's very good at finding your competitors, but the analysis is missing data because when we find the specific competitors we want to compare, then we can see the share of voice, which means that how much they are filling on the specific keywords. And then we can see what phrases and questions they're ranking on. But this section, which is super relevant, doesn't have a lot of data. And using that, I was hoping to see more data to get ideas of what I could rank for. And again, the keyword difficulty is really missing here to help me figure out what to focus on next and go from there. Now they do also have some smaller tools like a keyword list where you can create and then simply add all of the keywords relevant for your list. It is super simple to create. But the other very interesting feature is a topic cluster. And this you can do either manually where you add the keywords yourself or you can do it automatically. And when you choose to do it automatically, then Storybase will create this cluster for you. You just need to enter your topic and then Storybase will find similar topics and add into your topic cluster. And what you want to do working with SEO is to work from cluster to cluster. You don't want to cover one subject in one cluster and then move on to the next one. Because if you build authority within one topic cluster, then Google will think that you own that topic cluster and then show your articles more than other of your competitors websites which doesn't cover that topic that much. But overall, I think based on my testing, Storybase has some great modules for optimizing your content and doing some initial search analysis. But what I'm missing is help texts. I was spending a lot of time figuring out what the different things meant and whether a high number in relevance was good or bad or it needed a low number. So small help text here or there or small introduction would really go far. And on top of that, then I think the data sets they have now are great. They are at least ahead of a lot of the different SEO tools that I have tested already. But if we can get more data into it, so they become more tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush, then I will really understand the use of Storybase and it will make a lot of sense because I think where we get most value within Storybase are the questions. You get a lot of great questions by not entering so much, you can enter a simple keyword and they know, Storybase know that what covers this keyword and what is relevant for this keyword. So that is really where Storybase Excel with all of these modules, I have to evaluate it up against the price and it starts at 49 US dollars for three websites. And if you want to have more websites, then you need to upgrade to the agency plan, which is around $300. So it do become pricey and it do work its way up to Ahrefs and SEMrush. And it's funny because I had a discussion about the pricing on Twitter. And I think pricing is a funny thing because Storybase can easily cost 500 US dollars as long as it brings the value worth of at least that, then people will pay it. By the way, if you want to follow along on how I test these tools, then you can follow me on Twitter where I share tweets and my progress of testing. But with these prices, as mentioned, I have to compare to SEMrush and Ahrefs. And right now, they're just not there yet. Because when I do a search within Ahrefs on exactly the same type of keyword and the same type of topic, I just get thousands of more questions and keywords to work within. So even though Ahrefs costs the double of Storybase, then you also get more than double the value of it. So the target group for Storybase is small niche websites 
But I will say as soon as you have some budget for it, then upgrade and buy something like Ahrefs or Semrush where you get more data. But I will say that I have managed to find specific questions within StoryBase that I have been able to write articles for to test. And I will see in the future whether they rank for it or not. I think that the competition was not that high on these specific questions and the article seems great. So we'll have to wait and see. But based on the current state right now, StoryBase, I have to give them four stars. It's a great SEO product and it's solid, especially the keyword research tool is great to use. The phrases require some extra work because you need to figure out what the search intent is, but the questions are great. If they could just add the keyword difficulty and add more data into the platform, then StoryBase will be such a great tool in the future. But if you want to see another SEO tool, which does kind of the same as StoryBase, then you can check out my review of SEODT up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.